why don't you walk us around and introduce us to the styling of the vehicle? Okay, certainly. We'll start here. Uh, basically up in the front, uh, what you're really looking at is just the, uh, the Power Electronics version. So you really just see a big plastic cover. <laughs> uh, but the fact is the car is quite different than your normal internal combustion engine vehicle. Uh, so the orange wires that you see down in here uh, represent the, the high voltage lines that are being used to uh, power the air conditioning system. So normally in your car you've got a belt that drives your air conditioning. In this particular car you've got the uh, electric system. Hmm. Um, the air intake, as we've seen, is up here. Um, you've got your brake system and your power steering system. So all sort of the normal um, auxiliaries for the vehicle are up here. Can I, I, I actually want to ask one question Certainly. about this. In terms of maintenance for this type of vehicle, do you think uh, technicians are going to have to take on new type of training in order to service these types of vehicles? And is that going to be uh, an issue going forward? Or how, how is Nissan going to be addressing the, the service of these types of vehicles? Excellent question. So the, every time a new vehicle comes out, the technicians need to be updated on whatever that new technology is. Um, and so a lot of the basics of what's in this car is in our gasoline-powered vehicles. So the computer systems that run it, you know, the brake systems, the power steering. Uh, what's really new to it is going to be the, the hydrogen system. Um, and so it's not complicated per se to work on, uh, but the main issue really is just safety. We want to make sure that everybody can work on the car without any concerns. Wonderful. As we continue to walk around the vehicle, it definitely has a, a, a stance to it. You know, it's very solid. It, it just makes a, a, a performance statement, you know, just from the onset. I'm certainly glad to hear that. <laughs> um, I like this car. It's actually been sold in uh, Mexico and Canada as a gasoline version, mm -hmm. uh, as well as through most of our uh, um, European and Asian markets. Um, the closest vehicles to this car in the United States would be the Murano or the Xterra. Mm -hmm. um, the 70 MPA that you see on the side of it actually represents the, the pressure at which the hydrogen is stored at, so 70 megapascals, uh, which in this case gives the vehicle a range of up to 300 miles. Wow. On just one tank? On one tank. Wonderful. And the nice thing about that is for this vehicle, the tank can actually be recharged in about five minutes. Wow. Um, so that is one thing that does separate the battery electric vehicle from the hydrogen powered right now is the refueling time. So our battery vehicle, your overnight charge would be about eight hours, but you can actually with a fast charge system get it in about 25 minutes, uh, whereas the hydrogen powered vehicles are closer to about five minutes charge. So wow. it's, uh, both technologies have a lot of strengths to them. Um, you know, this one is more like your gasoline-powered vehicle that we drive today. Cost and safety are the real two key things. And then in case of Nissan, we actually have an internal goal of having everything in excess of 95% recyclable. Wow. Um, so not, unfortunately, not all of the car parts um, actually have industries within the United States that can take advantage of that amount of recyclability. Uh, but in Japan, we actually can recycle a lot more. So oh, we, you know, that is a huge component of the design. So one of the big goals of the vehicle was to uh, install the technology in a way that it was still usable by the, you know, the, the individual consumer. Um, and so we've got uh, pretty much the full trunk space in the back. Uh, we've got seating for five. Uh, the one thing that you will notice is that the ceiling in the back is a little bit on the high side, primarily because we decided to put in a single tank of hydrogen. Uh, as opposed to multiple tanks. So it's just sort of a packaging strategy for Nissan. Mm. Uh, somewhat on the, uh, just keeping it simplistic in the beginning. Great. How about we go for a ride?